While China trade uncertainty bounces back into play after testimony from the top U.S. negotiator, but there was some assurance with agriculture rain remaining that is a top priority. RFD TV's Sarah Mock recaps the hearing. Senators hoping to hear good news about an upcoming deal with China yesterday were disappointed. You know, our hope is that we are in the final weeks of having an agreement, but I'm not predicting one. There still are major, major issues that have to be resolved. And if those issues are not resolved in a way that's beneficial to the United States, we will not have an agreement. But Lighthizer assured lawmakers that the administration understands the stakes and the possible upside. For American Ag. The president is very focused on, on what's happening in farm country. There has been retaliation uh, that has had a negative effect in farm country. And but, but I always point out that, particularly with respect to China, no one has a bigger upside than opening up China than, than agriculture. We sell them in a normal year 18 or 19 billion dollars worth of product, less last year for a variety of reasons. But uh, they import a lot of goods from a lot of other places that they ought to be importing for the United States. Lighthizer says agriculture will be a major section if the trade deal comes to fruition and says talks have included adjustments to sanitary and phytosanitary regulations, which should allow U.S. ag better access to Chinese markets going forward. And the SBS issues, I should say, have been a major focus of our, of, as you know well, of our discussions with China. We have gone through a whole lot of, of, of uh, um, of, um, of their various, um, uh, I don't want to say schemes, but processes that keep U.S. agricultural products and other agricultural products out. Lawmakers also probed about enforcement. The ranking member urged the ambassador not to lift tariffs on China without mechanisms in place to ensure unfair trade practices don't occur. Lighthizer agreed. We don't have an agreement with China, as you know, so nothing's really done. And, and it's as, as in these kinds of negotiations, Nothing's ever done till everything's done. Though he doesn't know whether there will be a final deal, Lighthizer says the process with China is coming to an end one way or another. He says the administration is already working on other deals critical to U.S. ag, including a top priority bilateral with Japan, though he says a similar deal with the European Union is, quote, at a complete stalemate. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington.